The Craig Custom Pocket Hole Plug Cutter makes it possible to take Craig Joinery projects to the next level by giving you complete freedom to create your own custom plugs from any wood species. That means you can cut plugs from your own project stock to create plugs with color that matches your project better than has ever been possible before. Plus, the Custom Pocket Hole Plug Cutter allows you to create face grain plugs that blend in amazingly well. The plug cutter simply slips into a Craig jig in place of the normal drill guide block and works with a Craig Jig K5, K4, or even an older K3 model. That allows you to clamp your plug material in place and drill in the same way that is used for creating pocket holes. To create the plugs, just chuck the plug cutting bit into any drill. This high performance bit features a specially designed cutting tip that shears cleanly for a smooth, consistent plug. The bit also has an open design that presents wood from jamming inside the bit and fluting that reduces heat and friction for better plugs and longer bit life. A stop collar ensures perfect depth every time to produce accurately sized plugs. The custom pocket hole plug cutter comes with one bit that creates plugs for standard size Craig pocket holes. For even greater versatility, two optional bits are also available. One makes smaller diameter plugs that fit Craig micro pocket pocket holes. The other bit creates large plugs to work with the Craig Jig HD a plug size that's only possible using the custom pocket hole plug cutter. After cutting the custom made plugs free, they simply slip into the pocket holes. The plugs are sized to protrude only slightly above the surrounding surface. That means it's easy to sand or trim the plugs flush, producing a plug that virtually disappears. When you want the best matching pocket hole plugs possible, and when you want the freedom to create plugs from any type of wood, the Craig Custom Pocket Hole Plug Cutter is the solution you need. Hey there, we're Ashley and Whitney from ShantyToChic.com here to show you the basics of power sanders. If you're doing a project involving wood, furniture, shelves, you name it, a sander will help you get the finished texture you want. There's lots of sander options available, so we're going to walk you through several of those and explain their uses. Let's take a look. This is a belt sander and it's designed to remove the most material in the shortest amount of time. It has a big sanding belt, so it's great for sanding large, flat, rough surfaces like a table or a bench. You should always sand with the grain for the best finish. Up next is a random orbit sander. It's less aggressive than the belt sander and it's ideal for faster sanding jobs. Its random orbital motion keeps it from leaving swirl marks on your sanding surface. One of the things I really like about this sander is how easy the sandpaper can be replaced. Ryobi offers the sander in both corded and 18 volt cordless versions. This is the quarter sheet finish sander. It's not as aggressive as the random orbit sander and it's great for sanding close to an edge or into a corner. The sandpaper is pretty easy to replace too. Just lift up the side levers here, stick in a new sheet and press the levers back down. 
You can get pre-cut sheets or cut your own replacements from a full sandpaper sheet. Next we have Ryobi's Corner Cat Sander. This is used for smaller areas and detailed sanding, and it's perfect for tight corners and odd shapes too. So if you're tackling furniture projects, it is awesome to have around. You can get the Corner Cat in both the corded version and the cordless version, whichever you prefer. Finally is the Detail Sander. This is the least aggressive and it fits into tight spaces. It's available as an attachment on the Job Plus multi-tool and there's also a corded option. Now, depending on the application, some projects may require multiple sanders. Selecting the correct size sandpaper grit and sandpaper is an important step in achieving a high quality sanded finish. Check out Ryobi Nation or stop by your local Home Depot for more information on sanders and sandpaper. Happy, Happy building! Ready to go brushless? Introducing the new Ryobi OnePlus 18 volt brushless hammer drill driver. Get up to 50% more runtime from the energy efficient brushless motor and up to 25% better performance, delivering 750 inch pounds of torque. Brushless motors use less wearable parts, extending the tool life and making the drill 25% more compact. Unlike other brushless hammer drills, this drill is packed with all the pro features you expect from Ryobi. Drill, drive, and hammer modes. Half-inch all-metal keyless chuck. Trigger-activated LED with delay feature. Belt clip, mag tray, and get more done before recharging with a 4-amp hour battery. It's the only pro-featured brushless hammer drill at an affordable Ryobi price. How to route box joints on the Lee Box Joint and Beehive Jig. The Lee Box Joint and Beehive Jig, model B975, makes it easy to route half inch and three quarter inch box joints in board widths up to 9 and 11 sixteenths of an inch and 13 sixteenths of an inch thick. Box joints are extremely strong and well suited for a variety of projects. From a simple box to a beehive. All box joint routing is done with the included Lee 160 half inch bit and the Lee E10 guide bushing. Four boards are prepared for making a box. All routing starts with the side stop in the socket board stop position. The first socket board is secured in place in a vise or portable workbench. Then the box joint and beehive jig is placed on top of the socket board, centered and clamped in place. The side stop is locked in place against the socket board and is now set for all socket and pin board routing. The socket board is routed by moving in and out of the template openings. This leaves a socket at each edge of the board. The jig is removed, the socket board is flipped, and the procedure is repeated to route the other end of the board as well as the second socket board. The pin board stop is flipped into position, providing the correct offset for the pin board relative to the socket board. The first pin board is secured in the vise and the jig is set in place with the pin board stop against the edge of the board. With the jig clamped in place, the pin board is routed. This leaves a pin at each edge of the board. The procedure is repeated on the other end of the pin board. Once completed, the second pin board is routed using the same techniques. With all four boards now routed, the box is assembled. Any joint fit adjustments are done with the E10 guide bushing. The outside barrel of the E-bush is elliptical in shape, unlike standard guide bushings which are round. Because of this, as the e-bush is turned within 90 degrees, the active diameter of the e-bush increases or decreases, resulting in a tighter or looser fit. Settings are recorded in the user guide for easy repeatability the next time you route box joints on the Lee Box Joint and Beehive Jig. For more information on the Box Joint and Beehive Jig, visit LeeJigs.com. All Lee products carry a full 5-year warranty. Lee products are available worldwide through our network of dealers and distributors.